but this is the look of your mama. You've seen me bare face many times already on this vlog, on this video, on this channel. So there's no hiding there. Just like everyone else, we suffer from dark under eyes and depending on whether or not I had a good sleep. I think I had a good sleep, but you guys, I don't know if you can see that. I woke up with a zit, which brings me to my next point actually. So in my previous video, oops, what is that? So in my previous video, I told you guys that I am planning to return two of the foundations. So one is a tinted moisturizer, one is a foundation. Just because of the chemical component sunscreen. I'm talking about this Smashbox and Charlotte Tilbury. I didn't realize both have octinoate. Both of these are vegan and cruelty free by the way, right? But I only use physical sunscreen. Even though octinoate is supposedly safer i just don't want to rock the boat i don't want to try things and then have this zits multiply so with that said i'm heading to sephora maybe in about two hours but yes i am gonna be returning this too unfortunately so going back to our old routine and the new naturals by far still the best beauty balm tinted sunscreen Tinted moisturizer all rolled into one. And let me have my mirror in front of me. So you guys, Thanksgiving in two weeks. What are your plans? You are going to be celebrating it very, very simple. I usually go very elaborate, especially when it comes to cooking and preparation. You guys, I'm gonna warn you, we're gonna be flipping back and forth because I'm doing a get ready with me and I'm also discussing another topic. So back and forth, <laughs> I hope you can follow, right? But the thing with uh, tinted sunscreens, physical sunscreens is this tendency to be pasty white. So not a thing to wear, especially if you're gonna be taking a lot of photos because you're gonna be really a Casper. <laughs> <laughs> okay but the thing with physical sunscreens is you really have to blend it well and eventually it will settle in nicely in your skin anyway going back so there are so many things to be thankful about despite this crappy 2020 if you're new to my channel and if you missed the situation in April I really thought that I had COVID because I had all the symptoms, you guys. But because I'm a frontliner, I'm a healthcare professional, I was able to get tested right away and know the results right away. So, negative for both flu and COVID. But mind you guys, these symptoms are very, very apparent. So, I'm thinking I got it, but my viral load was probably very, very low way to register as positive so it took all of two weeks for me to recover the fever comes and goes throughout the day and it's the constant coughing and there's a little bit of shortness of breath so I treated myself the same thing that you would treat a COVID positive patient symptomatically a uh, good thing it was locked down so I quarantined myself the entire time and really double up on all the vegetables and fruits. 13 years, I never got sick, remember? And that was the first time ever that I felt like <laughs> I was dying. It was actually my husband who was sick first two weeks prior and then me. So I had to isolate myself and I was worried too, you know, because what if it's COVID? So number one, reason to be thankful for is our health. If not for me eating healthy, my symptoms could have lasted longer and I could not have had that energy to tackle the beast of that virus. By the way, this wasn't part of my haul. <clears throat> This is just my tried and tested eyebrow powder from Kat Von G. Second that we have to be thankful about, family. Nobody in my family got the COVID. Not my mom, 
my mom is vulnerable because she is already 70 years old so I am thankful that she is healthy and she never got it and knock on the wood every night I pray no one in the family will get COVID everyone that I know will not get it so I do not know of anyone close to me in my circle that got the COVID so you guys you also share in the comment section what are your at least top three things that you're thankful for this year now we are going for this eyeshadow palette that was part of my haul this one is from Fenty Beauty look at the shades these are my favorite shades you guys because they complement my skin tone plus a very very fall-ish shades right so the question is what will I be wearing today okay anyways move this light number three to be thankful about Winkles 2 is very healthy for her age she's already 11 years old you know guys and some of you even mentioned oh she looks too young for her age well just like me <laughs> I'm already 46 you guys but I act like I'm still young because age is just a number but going back to Winkles Winkles is really our baby here husband and I <clears throat> We don't have human kids, but we have four-legged kids in the face of Wingles. So, we love her so dearly, and I'm also thankful that she is healthy, very active still for her age. So that's, so that's now number three to be thankful about. Number four, so many people millions of people not only in the u.s but around the world lost their jobs during covid i'm thankful that i still have my job so this is not a time for everyone and i'm telling this to everyone who continuously complain about their jobs how they hate their jobs you guys just be thankful that you still have a job okay so enough of the whining to me you never bite the hands that feed you that that's one thing that i've learned when i was still working in corporate you know you don't backbite people you don't say nasty things if you can stand the heat stop cooking or leave the kitchen that's how it is but never never bite the hands that feed you so far i like this shade i like the i like this i like how it applies very smoothly and now i'm just blending it next would be that's number four number five i'm thankful that i have had no complications with any of the patients that i'm treating every night i actually pray for my patients i know there's not a lot of healthcare professionals that do that but every night I include my patients in my prayer that they will be safe under my care this is part of the haul again this is from Charlotte Tilbury the concealer magic away liquid concealer this is how I do my concealer dab 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 nothing overboard and also I want to tackle this acne here and a scratch here this one is a little thicker so I'm just blending this next thing to be thankful about is food on the table while I prefer to cook we support local businesses here by ordering food from them despite everything that happened again we are still eating good food now I want to really maximize the use of this little palette right here this is really travel friendly there's another one Despite me not being able to travel and meet my family this year in California, we got a technology called FaceTime. So that's what we have been doing now, just really keeping in touch. And if not for COVID too, we won't 
realize the importance of technology, right? Now we have Zoom meetings. Now we realize we can work at home and still be productive. And we can get in touch with our loved ones more frequent, right? If I am able to travel, then this is the palette that I will be carrying with me because it's tiny but it's packed with all the nice colors that I would really use myself. So what I'm doing is just smudging. So smudging this dark brown here along my upper lash line. But I guess as you get older, your wants, your needs in life become simpler. This wasn't part of the haul but I highly recommend to you guys the Hourglass palette sculpture which is a limited edition for this year okay from our glass did i say our glass anyway so that's that now let's go to my lashes lash primer from my jacobs this is a sample from bare minerals i still got a few more uses from this mascara so let's also maximize before I open up a new one okay now we go to my purchase again this is Patrick top this is supposed to be a blush but it looks like a bronzer right good the next one that I'm really excited to try is this ginormous bronzer from Charlotte Tilbury do I have okay I'm just looking for a brush but you see the size too big what is the shade it's the number three three tan that's the shade so ooh, ooh, a little dark there but that's fine Wow. Okay. Good. This one, I don't know if I'm going to wear this. This is a highlighter from Rihanna. But we'll see. I do have a tiny highlighter brush here. So we'll see. Oh yeah, it's good too. Nice. You know what? Let's also put in there. Put in there. This is limited edition and I love it. And next time I'm going to actually try it on my lids too. See? Multi-purpose. Always a struggle picking the right color for your lips. But let's try this nude shade from Patrick Ta. Hmm, love it. There you go. Very simple look for today. Great for office wear, daytime wear. Did I mention already? I made these earrings before I went to bed last night. So these are made from rose quartz. This is also rose quartz. And I made this bracelet as well. Um, blue chalcedony and amazonite. This one. Well, anyway, you guys, you can find my handmade gemstone jewelries at fabzilla.com i accept customized orders great for christmas gifts so i'll see if i'm able to take you around with me at the mall if not then i will see you next time i want to thank you for taking time to sit down listen and get ready with me and if you're not subscribed yet please do so now i'll be happy if you do that and remember to always be kind to every kind mahalo for watching